E-day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags and welcome to what will be the final mission of the 1968 campaign. Yes, we finally managed to make it to the end and I think I almost managed to mess this up. As per the end of the last video, we received orders to hunt down a Soviet boomer that was trying to escape into the North Atlantic to start executing presumably nuclear missile strikes against US targets. So our job is to intercept it and destroy it. Not necessarily a major issue. It will have escorts. Again, not necessarily a major issue. The problem was on the world map at the time, Sonar two is classified as submerged submarine. about six or seven targets popped up all at once, potential submarine contacts that I had to work out and I almost went for the wrong one. By the time I adjusted course and managed to catch this one, it was Sonar long past one is classified as submerged submarine. holy lock and well out in North Atlantic. Unfortunately, they do know that I'm coming because I had to do 20 knots in order to be able to catch them, so I was making noise on the way in. So anyways, I've just identified the targets. The Yankee is the ballistic missile submarine that I am looking for. The Foxtrot is one of its escorts. I'm completely unsure in this point in time as to whether or not the Yankee has other escorts. I guess we'll find out. I hope you enjoy. 12 knots. And we're in the baffle on both of them. So, make turns for one zero knots, maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering, making turns for three zero knots. Foxtrot is turning back. If I was going to do a sprint up behind it, the moment for that has passed. We do have a fairly good idea on where it is. In fact, we know exactly where it is. What's the depth difference? shallower so it's up around here can't actually see its shadow at the moment but it is somewhere in that area the Yankees reading closer now now the Yankees the Yankees over here the Yankees on the other side the Foxtrot is running as a shield for the Yankee it's about 10 kill yards out at this range, the Foxtrot shouldn't be able to detect a torpedo launch, so we're going to do one of these right away. So let's launch from this side. We only need one for a Foxtrot. I'm not going to fire any more than that. Touch of time acceleration in here as well, just to get the uh, torpedo doing its thing. Because I need to hurry up and get that Yankee, because the Yankee is running. The way I had to come screaming in here at 20 knots, the Foxtrot is more than likely fully aware of the fact that I'm actually here. Foxtrot is moving with the Yankee again. So it's currently about here in reality, I reckon. It's not a great offset for the permit. So we might change the permit's course. Now I'm going to 
turn it in and we're going to activate it. I'm surprised there's only one escort and one ballistic missile submarine, to be perfectly honest. And torpedo is active. Let's just. Uh, wrong one. Turn time acceleration off here so I just get this one lined up. Back on. Gondar, launch transient from Sierra. Alright, so that's Sierra 1. That's the Yankee panicking at this point. And that's reasonably close, too. The Foxtrot and the Yankee are almost side by side. They are an almost side by side. There it is. Launch two on our torpedo. We might go for the Yankee first. Nothing but November's this entire campaign for submarines. Torpedo curving back. Kind of hoping this isn't the only ballistic set of missile submarine that we have to track down. I'm hoping that there might be a couple of others. dive to our depth, so it's not following us at the moment. I'm not sure why it's diving. Yeah, Yankee's about to break the surface. If it's not already on, yep. Yankee's flooding hard at the rear. She's full propulsion, trying to keep herself above water so she doesn't sink. 
So she's basically ice, uh, but basically um, disabled at this point. We don't have to worry about her. We'll kill her when we need to. Two torpedoes, one for the Foxtrot, one to finish off the Yankee. I just need to make sure we get past these first. We should be fine if we go deep. And we go straight down the centre. We should be... If we do a time acceleration to let this move on. We should theoretically be outside of their detection cones. Yep, cool. Alright, so now we know we're safe from those no torpedoes. Line. What's our range? Box front is a 10.7, Yankee is a 10.5. So launch tubes one. Wait till we've completed the turn first, so we don't want to break break the wire. Actually, probably want to go tubes three. is going to go directly for the Yankee. No questions asked. Tube 4. We're going to send more north and he's going to go for the Foxtrot. We should be able to hold the permit in location and be able to take these out fairly quickly. But the Yankee is moving surprisingly fast. 24 knots. Might almost need to go active on the torpedo to catch that one, at least reliably. Yeah, we will, we won't. Check our torpedo. Running deep and fast, so we'll bring it back to the surface. Leave it running at speed. We should be able to intercept the Yankee with that one without too much of an issue. We've lost the Foxtrot here. It's turned away. When was the Foxtrot last detected? How is a lot shallower than what we're at? So I might do the same thing. I might actually activate. Torpedo 4, get it sped up as well. Come on, Foxtrot, come back so I can see where you are. Depth changing torpedo four, we're gonna bring it up. Bring it up to about 200.
now we just see what we can see. It's holding 24 knots. So we're almost in there. Foxtrot has been detected. Noisemaker bearing two nine six. Those countermeasures are drawing a perfect line to exactly where it is. <laughs> Pardon me. This this has been too easy. These last missions are supposed to be hard. Alright, so we've acquired the Foxtrot. Going active on both torpedoes now. And that one's getting turned around by all the countermeasures, so... Let's take manual control here. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure only. Oh no, it's not. Foxtrot can fire all of the countermeasures it wants. It's being eliminated before it can become a much more of a problem than it already is. And there's the kill. Too close to the countermeasures. So, that's the Foxtrot eliminated. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Now we're just going to catch the Yankee. And our torpedo here is almost, uh, has almost caught up. Don't need to worry about much of it, about the Yankee actually maneuvering off. She's struggling to stay on the surface at this point, and she's likely dead without it. That shot was a killing shot we got her with before. Now it's just a matter of making sure the corpse stays down. Thirteen minutes. Yeah, this has got plenty of time. We're gonna have about ten minutes left on TTR by the time we uh, actually acquire the Anki. Maybe a little less. Yeah, it's gonna be a little less, but it'll still be enough. I'm surprised it can maintain twenty-four knots on the surface in a crippled condition like that. Seven. Actually, this is going to be uncomfortably close for active torpedo two, two, two. There we go. There it is. Dropping countermeasures and trying to move a white scuttle's nose sticking to the surface. It's 
worse. That's how ridiculous it is that I can hunt down a submarine like that, or the fact that the countermeasures are actually working so effectively. sunk, Foxtrot sunk, those were the only two submarines in the area, that's a lot less than what I was expecting I was expecting two ballistic missile submarines and multiple escorts possibly up to Vickers, uh, Victors so that's that's a surprisingly light load excellent job on intercepting and destroying this high priority target await additional orders, that was it that, that was the primary mission Reds throw in the towel. Czechoslovakian, Polish and East German governments have made direct contact with NATO's political leadership, asking for an immediate separate peace. The peace officer was accompanied by a plea towards NATO to guarantee the future independence of these regions from communist pressure. In general terms, acceptance of this offer could mean NATO will oblige itself to assist in forcing Soviet troops out of these respective territories. Furthermore, the displacement of hundreds of thousands of civilians across Europe poses a massive humanitarian crisis for NATO, as well as other nations to resolve. It looks like we collapsed the Soviet Union in the 1960s here. War is over. States within the Soviet Union declare independence. Withdraw. Yeah, we did. We we didn't just win this war. We collapsed the Soviet Union about thirty years early. Withdrawal has sparked a chain reaction within Soviet Union, with several of the peripheral General Asian Federated States proclaiming their independence. The Soviet Union, uh, the United, the the Union States of Turkmenia and Uzbekistan have respectively announced themselves free socialist republics, with Kekistan expected to follow any day. In response to the domestic turmoil, the Soviet army has ceased hostile operations in the West. Peace negotiations will commence at once. Whatever the outcome, it will be with the Soviet Union strongly reduced its, it, in its allies in domestic territory. All right, so Commander Mags, USS Plunger, SSN-595, and despite how long this campaign seems to have been running for, we were only actually at war for 36 days. Missions accomplished 15, zero land strikes and zero seal insertions. Um, this is because you don't get land strikes or seal insertions in the 1968 campaign, unfortunately, which uh, cuts out some of the mission variants. Capital ships sunk 3, other warships sunk 17, submarines sunk 25, 12 merchants, 57 total, for a total of 303,670 tons put upon the bottom. Final outcome, upon returning home, you are hailed a war hero, receiving requests for interviews with numerous other public appearances. The rapid collapse of the Soviet Union has ended the Cold War and ushered in an era of lasting peace. Yeah, we know how that worked in the real, uh, in the real world, so um, I seriously doubt that. We just got into the Middle East 30 years early. So, that is the end of the Cold Waters 1968 campaign. Opinions. Well, I've made my opinions pretty clear throughout the entire campaign up until this point, uh, but I will run through them again now. The 1968 campaign could have been fantastic, but it is actually the worst example of Cold Waters for what it is. The slow speed of the weapon systems and the way they operate makes it very clear the inadequacies within the AI itself, the weaknesses that the AI has, and how it 
basically cheats in order to be able to function. It becomes very clear. You can see it at work in the 1968 campaign in a way that's actually largely cloaked in the 80s and the 2000s campaign because everything is sped up, so it's less effective. It is definitely the harder campaign, but the difficulty level isn't so much a difficulty level by an actual increase in difficulty, as strange as this sounds to describe. The difficulty level increase in the 1968 campaign is largely due to an increase in frustration. Everything is just more frustrating to work with, and being in the long run, you can work around it, but it's not an enjoyable way of actually playing. I recommend everybody play through it once. I have now. Um, that was the first time actually completing the 1968 campaign fully, um, so that one's done. I don't think I'll ever be playing this one again. I'll definitely play the 80s campaign again. I'll definitely play the 2000s campaign again, um, probably on my private time since the 2000s campaign is already on the channel. But yeah, I don't think I'd ever go back to the 68 campaign. And that does leave the question now. At this point, I have a 2000s campaign. I have a complete 1968 campaign on the channel. And the only one I don't have is a complete 80s campaign because a mod pack actually broke the install. So I, I could never actually complete that one. So do you want me to complete the 1980s campaign in a 688 on channel fully, much like I have now? Or do you want me to do something else? I'll leave that up to you guys in the comments section. Anyways, ladies and gents, hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. We'll see if Cold Waters returns based on what you guys are interested in. And until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.